What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Robles from Apple Insider. You can follow me on Twitter, at Stephen Robles. I'd love to hear from you there. And today we're going to look at one of the new features in iPadOS 15, which is a brand new Translate app. It's going to be built into the operating system, and it has a pretty cool feature called Live Translate, where you can hit a microphone button, and you and another person can actually talk in two different languages, and it will translate in real time. And so we're going to test that today with our very special guest, my mom. <laughs> this is my mom, uh, Damaris Robles. How are you doing, mom? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. So my mom is fluent in Spanish. Now that's because my grandma, your mom, lived in Puerto Rico, born in Puerto Rico and grew up there. And now you were born in New York, right? Yes, in New York. Now you're fluent in Spanish. Is that because grandma talked to you the whole time in Spanish? Yes, she always spoke in Spanish all the time. So is Spanish your first language? I would say so. I learned English basically through the television and other people who would talk to us. Okay. So you're still fluent in yes. Spanish and English. I learned Spanish in school. I took, goodness, like six years of Spanish. I went to Mexico on a trip, but now I, I don't remember anything. So I'm going to speak in English and my mom's going to speak in Spanish and we're going to use the live translate feature on the iPad and we're going to see how well it does. So we'll speak, it'll translate, and we'll see how it goes. Hello, my name is Steven. I'm from the United States. What's your name? Hola, me llamo Steven. Soy de los Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo te llamas? Hola, yo me llamo Damaris y también soy de los Estados Unidos. I remember when I was growing up, you worked at a school. Can you tell me what you did there? Recuerdo que cuando era pequeño trabajabas en una escuela. ¿Puedes decirme lo que hiciste allí? Sí, yo trabajé con los kindergartens y yo ayudaba a la maestra en todo lo que yo podía con los niños. If I worked with kindergartens and I helped the teacher in everything I could with the children. <laughs> so, it's not getting it exactly right. Now, in the languages that you can use in this app, we actually downloaded the languages because it seems to be working a little better as downloaded. When you hit the little arrow up here, you go to manage languages and then you can download them. Now for the Spanish language, it says Spanish Spain. Do you think there's any difference between the Spanish you're speaking and Spain Spanish? Yes, si. Sí. Well, you don't have to say it in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> that just, you could just tell me in English. Yes, absolutely, because in Spain, they speak Castilian. And so our parents, came from Puerto Rico. And so their language much more like Span English, sort of, okay. you know? So, um, so no, we're not as perfect as the Spaniards. So it might, so some of the translation things might be that. Yeah, and the dialect, they're oh, right, different. Right. Okay, all right, well, let's try it again. I'll go. When I grew up, I played the trumpet. I would play in bands and in the musicals. Did you play an instrument when you were growing up? Cuando crecía toco la trompeta que tocaba en bandas y en los musicales tocabas el instrumento cuando eras pequeño. Cuando yo era pequeña, yo aprendí a tocar la recorder en la escuela, pero cuando fui mayor de edad, entonces aprendí a tocar la flauta. When I was little, I learned to play riser at school, but when I was of legal age, then I learned to play the flute. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's got a couple things off here. So you said recorder, right? right? So In fifth grade. Yeah, I don't know what recor is. That's R-I-C-O-R. -R. And then when I was of legal age, I learned to play the flute. What did you mean? <laughs> when I was older, I learned how to play uh, the flute. Okay. Yeah. Isn't, I mean, how would you say older in Spanish? You said... Uh, de mayor de edad. Mayor de edad. All right, let's see, if it, let's see if it translates that. Just say that part. Mayor de edad. Person who is legally of age. Yeah, that's interesting. So is that something where, is it doing like a very literal translation? Or is it just, do you think it's a difference in the dialect maybe? I think it's a difference in the dialect. What is one of your favorite things to do on the weekend? ¿Cuál es una de tus cosas favoritas para hacer el fin de semana? 
A mí me gusta ir a las tiendas. A mí me gusta mirar diferentes cosas. I like to go to the stores. I like to look. I kind of cut you off there. Yeah, Let's just try one more time. <laughs> A mí me gusta ir a las tiendas y me gusta ver, mirar diferentes cosas para comprar. I like to go to the stores and I like to see different things to buy. Okay, they get that pretty yeah, much right? Yeah, they did. All right. I remember that you and dad went on your first cruise with me and we went to the Caribbean. What were you thinking going on your first cruise? Recuerdo que tú y papá hicimos tu primer crucero conmigo y fuimos al Caribe. ¿Qué estabas pensando en tu primer crucero? Lo que yo estaba pensando fue que yo estaba bien excitada porque era la primera vez. What I was vez. that I was very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Not excited. Okay, let's try that one more time. Yeah. Ok, por la primera vez cuando iba a ir, este, yo estaba bien excitada porque quería ver <laughs> cómo iba a ser. Okay. For the first time when I was going to go, this one, I was already very excited because I wanted to see. So where did it cut you off? Yeah, it cut me off. Oh, yeah, it did cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One day when we can hopefully travel again, what's a place that you would like to go to in the future? día en el que esperamos poder viajar de nuevo, ¿cuál es el lugar al que te gustaría ir en el futuro? Oh, me gustaría ir a Corea. Me gusta la gente y yo veo muchas um, cosas en la televisión de que son de Corea y la gente se ve que son bien amables. Or I'd like to go to Korea. I like people and I see many things on television that they're from Korea and people look very kind. Is that pretty close to what it was saying? Yes. Yeah. It si. was? Okay. Si. 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 <laughs> okay. Do you think that this translation feature would be good enough to have a conversation with someone of a language that you don't speak at all? ¿Crees que esta función de traducción ¿Sería lo suficientemente buena como para tener una conversación con alguien de un idioma que no hablas en absoluto? Sí, yo creo que ayudaba a la gente mucho con esto para poder hablar con alguien de otro país. If I think I'm going to help people a lot with this so I can talk to someone from another country. So that probably didn't, that didn't get it. Just no, now. that didn't get it exactly right. <laughs> All right, try it one more time. Let's see. Sí, a mí me gusta esto porque yo creo que para poder hablar con personas de otro país va a ser bien fácil. If I like this because I think that being able to talk to people from another country will be very easy. So one of the unfortunate things about this is if I didn't speak any Spanish and you didn't speak any English, we couldn't see that the translation is bad. You know, because right now you can look at this, this text and you could say, that's not what I said. Right. But if you were talking to someone from Korea or from France, they spoke French, you would see the French there, but you wouldn't know what it said. And so the other person wouldn't be able to really know that that's not what you meant. So I guess they would have to maybe clarify and speak it back to you or something. So that's, you know, that would be kind of weird. So it's not there yet. It's, it's, right. it's, not, it's not flawless and it might come up with some weird word. <laughs> like it did a second ago. <laughs> but I think you get the gist of it. So if you're with someone, I think at least it would help somewhat. Uh, you right. know, it's not perfect, but you would be able to talk because sometimes you would have to talk either with your hands, you know, to say something in English stuff, or yeah. pointing at stuff. Yeah. At least this is a little helpful. Well, can we try Korea? Korea? You want to try Korean? Okay, yeah. let's see. I know one wo word. Oh, do you? Okay. Okay, so let's see. What is the one word you know in Korean? It says thank you? That's pretty good. 
I didn't know you knew that. Well, my mom knows Korean. Would you look at that? That's pretty good. Okay. Thank you, Mom, for being a part of the translation test. Oh, you are so welcome. All right. And let us know if you speak another language and you can test out this translation feature. I'd love to hear about it. You can leave a comment down below the YouTube video. And if you have other ideas for videos you'd like to see, you can tweet at me, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Apple Insider YouTube channel. Hit the like button and then the little bell icon so you never miss a video. And don't forget to tune into the Apple Insider podcast. We have the Apple Insider podcast comes out every Friday. I host that with other members of the Apple Insider staff. HomeKit Insider, where we talk about HomeKit and smart home devices. That comes out every Monday. And Apple Insider Daily, where you get the top Apple news headlines in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.